Hello folks, I am back and, I, and I'm here to talk about some issues that have been creeping up with the CZ TSO and TS2. This is a not a really big deal, it's a minor issue and I'm going to show you how to basically correct that issue. But in the meantime, I want you guys to go check out coreessential.com regarding their whole line of belts. I wear their belts exclusively. They have a variety of belts in different colors, camo, you name it, and different belt buckle styles. Right now, I am testing out a dress belt uh, and for those situations where I want to go to a dinner or whatnot, but don't want to look like a tactical Johnny. So go on their website, check them out, they have accessories, EDC gear, you name it. But if you want 10% off, use my discount code Keenan10. I'll note it down at the bottom of the video. Okay, folks, back now to the video itself. Uh, there was a minor issue that's been plaguing uh, users who have the TSO, Tactical Sport Orange, as well as the Tactical Sport 2. Uh, and... I had a customer recently, he was on the range, and he recently purchased um, the the TS2. And just so you know, it is clear, so we can talk about that. They, I don't want the YouTube gods chasing me down. I didn't do that in my last video, but yes, this firearm is clear, so is the other one. And the, the issue is with the trigger. Now, the trigger... Well, if you fire it, and sometimes the trigger will not reset. Um, and the reason for it not resetting is I'm going to try to get real close. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this in my last video. Um, I, I can't remember. But the reason why I'm doing this video again is because uh, it's starting to, uh, people are starting to talk about it. So... If I can just get it in the position where you can see what I'm talking about. This little screw right here. Just make sure that the screw stays in place. And I'm going to try to get on the angle in the rear. Make sure it stays in place right here. Now, it's supposed to be an adjustable trigger. But you want to make sure that this screw will stay in place. Like if you see in the front here, make sure it stays flush right here and make sure this screw doesn't back out or fall out because what's happening is uh shooters are shooting and when they get ready to pull the trigger the trigger is in the in the rear most rear position then they have to kick it out with their finger to push the trigger forward to uh, to reset uh this started actually uh i guess a couple years ago with the, with the original um Tactical Sport Orange, as you see here, it's right there, it's right here, it's flush here, and it's, if I can get the right angle, it's right in there, but just be mindful, do not let that uh, the, that screw come out. Sometimes the screw may, may not come out, it will back into a position where the tr you will still get a dead trigger so and or you'll get a trigger where it won't reset so the customer that i talked to he basically said he contacted uh cz and cz highly recommends that you use blue loctite or some type of uh locking component that it so it won't back out so it will stay in that position um you know, CZ makes very good quality firearms, but this is just one of those issues that I think they should have done a little more. If it's a known issue, they should put in their manual and say, hey, beware of this or supply you with some type of, uh, let's say, threat locker or, uh, or Loctite to, so the customers would know so they won't experience that or even lose the screw itself. But this is all I wanted to let you know. This is a short video. I'm just, like I said, I just wanted to let you guys know because uh, it's been something that's been coming up lately and I've been seeing this at the range. Uh, all right. Other than that, that's all I have. Happy shooting. Stay safe. Hashtag 2A.